Hi everyone. Today I'll be going over a function of MA2 that I rely on fairly often, changing the form of a live running effect through macros. Please keep in mind that this will only work for selective effects and it won't work for relative effects. So I've loaded up a bare bones show file here. Uh, I've started by just adding an effects pool and a macro pool. And then on the left screen, you can see I have a layout view with all of my patched fixtures. I've just added 20 Martin axioms uh, for simplicity. So let's start by selecting all of our fixtures here. And then in the effects pool, we can right click on the cell that we want to add our effect to. And I'm just going to use a predefined dimmer sign here. So we can close out of that. And then when I clear out, I don't have any fixtures selected. And when I re-trigger the effect by double clicking, you'll see that it's selected the fixtures and it's running the effect over all of them. So I'll clear out of that once more. And then let's go ahead with creating our macros. Uh, our macros will reference the forms in the forms pool here. So that will reference the number of the form, which is listed above every item. And it will also reference the effect number too. So we'll do something like ramp minus, which is form 11, and effect one, which is the effect we just created. So we'll right click in our macro pool, add an item, and the macro we'll be using is assign form X at effect Y. So assign form 11 at effect one. So let me type that in here. Okay, I'll close out of that again. And I'll just add a second one here with a different form so we can see what that looks like. Uh, let's do, how about let's do a sine wave so it goes back to that. Close. All right, and let me load up uh, my layout view again and we'll trigger our effect. So you can see our effects running here. Our effect is live. And let's change it to our ramp. There you go. Uh, so you can see that it's taken over the form. It's changed it. If we go back into the effect line editor here, you can see that the form has changed to ramp minus form 11. And then if I go into the other macro, you'll see it'll go back to sine wave. Pretty simple and pretty easy. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to get to them as I can. Uh, but thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.